A biometric passport also known as an e-passport, e-passport, or a digital passport is a traditional passport that has an embedded electronic microprocessor chip which contains biometric information that can be used to authenticate the identity of the passport holder. It uses contactless smart card technology, including a microprocessor chip, computer chip and antenna for both power to the chip and communication embedded in the front or back cover, or center page, of the passport. The passport's critical information is both printed on the data page of the passport and stored in the chip. Public key infrastructure PKI is used to authenticate the data stored electronically in the passport chip making it expensive and difficult to forge when all security mechanisms are fully and correctly implemented. Many countries are moving towards the issue of biometric passports. As of December 2008, 60 countries were issuing such passports, increasing to 120 as of June 2017. The currently standardized biometrics used for this type of identification system are facial recognition, fingerprint recognition, and iris recognition. These were adopted after assessment of several different kinds of biometrics, including retinal scan. Document and chip characteristics are documented in the International Civil Aviation Organization's ICAO DOC 9303. The ICAO defines the biometric file formats and communication protocols to be used in passports. Only the digital image usually in JPEG or JPEG 2000 format of each biometric feature is actually stored in the chip. The comparison of biometric features is performed outside the passport chip by Electronic Border Control Systems e-borders. To store biometric data on the contactless chip, it includes a minimum of 32 kilobytes of EEPROM storage memory and runs on an interface in accordance with the ISO IEC 14443 international standard amongst others. These standards intend interoperability between different countries and different manufacturers of passport books. Some national identity cards, for example in the Netherlands, Albania and Brazil, are fully ICAO 9303 compliant biometric travel documents. However, others such as the United States passport card are not. topic availability topic data protection biometric passports have protection mechanisms to avoid and or detect attacks non traceable chip characteristics Random chip identifiers reply to each request with a different chip number. This prevents tracing of passport chips. Using random identification numbers is optional. Basic Access Control BAC, BAC protects the communication channel between the chip and the reader by encrypting transmitted information. Before data can be read from a chip, the reader needs to provide a key which is derived from the machine readable zone, the date of birth, the date of expiry and the document number. If BAC is used, an attacker cannot easily eavesdrop transferred information without knowing the correct key. Using BAC is optional. Passive authentication PA PA is aimed at identifying modification of passport chip data. The chip contains a file SOD that stores hash values of all files stored in the chip picture, fingerprint, etc., and a digital signature of these hashes. The digital signature is made using a document signing key which itself is signed by a country signing key. If a file in the chip e the picture, is changed, this can be detected since the hash value is incorrect. Readers need access to all used public country keys to check whether the digital signature is generated by a trusted country. 
using PA is mandatory. According to a September 2011 United States Central Intelligence Agency document released by WikiLeaks in December 2014, although falsified e-passports will not have the correct digital signature, inspectors may not detect the fraud if the passports are from countries that do not participate in the International Civil Aviation Organization's Public Key Directory as of January 2017, 55 of over 60 e-passport issuing countries belong to the PKD program. Active authentication AA prevents cloning of passport chips. The chip contains a private key that cannot be read or copied, but its existence can easily be proven. Using AA is optional. Extended Access Control EAC. EAC adds functionality to check the authenticity of both the chip, chip authentication and the reader terminal authentication. Furthermore, it uses stronger encryption than BAC. EAC is typically used to protect fingerprints and iris scans. Using EAC is optional. In the European Union, using EAC is mandatory for all documents issued starting 28 June 2009. Supplemental Access Control SAC, SAC was introduced by ICAO in 2009 for addressing BAC weaknesses. It was introduced as a supplement to BAC for keeping compatibility, but will replace it in the future. Shielding the chip This prevents unauthorized reading. Some countries, including at least the US, have integrated a very thin metal mesh into the passport's cover to act as a shield when the passport cover is closed. The use of shielding is optional, to assure interoperability and functionality of the security mechanisms listed above. ICAO and German Federal Office for Information Security have specified several test cases. These test specifications are updated with every new protocol and are covering details starting from the paper used and ending in the chip that is included. topic inspection process topic attacks since the introduction of biometric passports several attacks have been presented and demonstrated non traceable chip characteristics in 2008 a Radboard, Lausitz University team demonstrated that it's possible to determine which country a passport chip is from without knowing the key required for reading it. The team fingerprinted error messages of passport chips from different countries. The resulting lookup table allows an attacker to determine from where a chip originated. In 2010 Tom Chothier and Vitaly Smirnov documented an attack that allows an individual passport to be traced, by sending specific BAC authentication requests. In 2016 Avwan et al. published a survey on security and privacy issues in passport protocols, where a new technique to track passports is introduced, based on the response time of basic commands. Basic Access Control BAC. In 2005 Mark Witterman showed that the document numbers of Dutch passports were predictable, allowing an attacker to guess, crack the key required for reading the chip. In 2006 Adam Lorry wrote software that tries all known passport keys within a given range, thus implementing one of Whitman's attacks. Using online flight booking sites, flight coupons and other public information it's possible to significantly reduce the number of possible keys. Lorry demonstrated the attack by reading the chip of a Daily Mail reporter's passport in its envelope without opening it. Note that in some early biometric passports BAC wasn't used at all, allowing attacker to read the chip's content without providing a key. 
Passive Authentication PA in 2006 Lucas Grunwald demonstrated that it is trivial to copy passport data from a passport chip into a standard ISO, IEC 14443 smart card using a standard contactless card interface and a simple file transfer tool. Grunwald used a passport that did not use active authentication anti-cloning and did not change the data held on the copied chip, thus keeping its cryptographic signature valid. In 2008 Euroan Van Beek demonstrated that not all passport inspection systems check the cryptographic signature of a passport chip. For his demonstration Van Beek altered chip information and signed it using his own document signing key of a non-existing country. This can only be detected by checking the country signing keys that are used to sign the document signing keys. To check country signing keys the ICAO PKD can be used. Only 5 out of 60 plus countries are using this central database. Van Beek did not update the original passport chip, instead an ePassport emulator was used. Also in 2008, the Hacker's Choice implemented all attacks and published code to verify the results. The release included a video clip that demonstrated problems by using a forged Elvis Presley passport that is recognized as a valid U.S. passport. Active authentication in 2005 Mark Witterman showed that the secret active authentication key can be retrieved using power analysis. This may allow an attacker to clone passport chips that use the optional active authentication anti-cloning mechanism on chips, if the chip design is susceptible to this attack. In 2008 Euroan Van Beek demonstrated that optional security mechanisms can be disabled by removing their presence from the passport index file. This allows an attacker to remove, amongst others, anti-cloning mechanisms active authentication. The attack is documented in Supplement 7 of Doc 9303 R1P1 V2 SIV 0006 and can be solved by patching inspection system software. Note that Supplement 7 features vulnerable examples in the same document that, when implemented, result in a vulnerable inspection process. Extended Access Control EAC. In 2007 Lucas Grunwald presented an attack that can make EAC-enabled passport chips unusable. Grunwald states that if an EAC key, required for reading fingerprints and updating certificates, is stolen or compromised, an attacker can upload a false certificate with an issue date far in the future. The affected chips block red access until the future date is reached. Topic: <inaudible> Opposition. Privacy proponents in many countries question and protest the lack of information about exactly what the passport's chip will contain and whether they impact civil liberties. The main problem they point out is that data on the passports can be transferred with wireless RFID technology, which can become a major vulnerability. Although this could allow ID check computers to obtain a person's information without a physical connection, it may also allow anyone with the necessary equipment to perform the same task. If the personal information and passport numbers on the chip are not encrypted, the information might wind up in the wrong hands. On 15 December 2006, the BBC published an article on the British ePassport, citing the above stories and adding that Nearly every country issuing this passport has a few security experts who are yelling at the top of their lungs and trying to shout out, this is not secure. This is not a good idea to use this technology," citing a specialist who states, "...it is much too complicated." 
It is in places done the wrong way round, reading data first, parsing data, interpreting data, then verifying whether it is right. There are lots of technical flaws in it and there are things that have just been forgotten, so it is basically not doing what it is supposed to do. It is supposed to get a higher security level. It is not." And adding that the future of identity in the Information Society Networks Research Team a body of IT security experts funded by the European Union has also come out against the e-passport scheme stating that European governments have forced a document on its people that dramatically decreases security and increases the risk of identity theft. Most security measures are designed against untrusted citizens the provers". But the scientific security community recently also addressed the threats from untrustworthy verifiers, such as corrupt governmental organizations, or nations using poorly implemented, unsecure electronic systems. New cryptographic solutions such as private biometrics are being proposed to mitigate threats of mass theft of identity. These are under scientific study, but not yet implemented in biometric passports. Countries using biometric passports European Union It was planned that, except for Denmark, Ireland and the UK, EU passports would have digital imaging and fingerprint scan biometrics placed on their RFID chips. This combination of biometrics aims to create an unrivaled level of security and protection against fraudulent identification papers. Technical specifications for the new passports have been established by the European Commission. The specifications are binding for the Schengen Agreement parties, i.e. the EU countries, except Ireland and the UK, and three of the four European Free Trade Association countries, Iceland, Norway and Switzerland. These countries are obliged to implement machine-readable facial images in the passports by 28 August 2006, and fingerprints by 29 June 2009. The European Data Protection Supervisor has stated that the current legal framework fails to "...address all the possible and relevant issues triggered by the inherent imperfections of biometric systems." Currently, the British and Irish biometric passports only use a digital image and not fingerprinting. German passports printed after 1 November 2007 contain two fingerprints, one from each hand, in addition to a digital photograph. Romanian passports will also contain two fingerprints, one from each hand. The Netherlands also takes fingerprints and is the only EU member that plans to store these fingerprints centrally. According to EU requirements, only nations that are signatories to the Schengen Acquis are required to add fingerprint biometrics. In the EU nations, passport prices will be Austria available since the 16th of June 2006. An adult passport costs 75 euros and 90 cents, while a chip-free child's version costs 30 euros. As of March 2009 all newly issued adult passports contain fingerprints. Passports are valid for two years after issuance for children up to the age of one, five years for children aged 2 to 11, ten years for citizens aged 12 and older. Belgium introduced in October 2004, 71 euros or 41 euros for children plus local taxes. As of May 2014, passports for adults are valid for seven years. Bulgaria introduced in July 2009, available since 29 March 2010, 40 Bulgarian lefs 20 Euros for adults. 
Passports are valid for 5 years. Croatia available since the 1st of July 2009, 390 Croatian kunas, 53 euros. The chip contains two fingerprints and a digital photo of the holder. Since the 18th of January 2010, only biometric passports can be obtained at issuing offices inside Croatia. Diplomatic missions and consular offices must implement new issuing system until the 28th of June 2010. Cyprus available since the 13th of December 2010, 70 euros, valid for 10 years. Czech Republic available since the 1st of September 2006, 600 Czech Karunas for adults, valid 10 years, 100 Czech Karunas for children, valid 5 years. Passports contain fingerprints. Denmark available since the 1st of August 2006, 600 Danish krona for adults, valid for 10 years, 115 Danish krona for children, valid for 5 years, and 350 Danish krona for over 65, valid for 10 years. As of January 2012, all newly issued passports contain fingerprints. Estonia available since the 22nd of May 2007 450 Estonian kroon 28 euros and 76 cents valid for 5 years As of the 29th of June 2009 all newly issued passports contain fingerprints Finland available since the 21st of August 2006 53 euros valid for up to 5 years as of the 29th of June 2009, all newly issued passports contain fingerprints. France available since April 2006, 86 euros or 89 euros depending whether applicant provides photographs, valid for 10 years. As of the 16th of June 2009, all newly issued passports contain fingerprints. Germany available since November 2005 23 year old applicants valid for 6 years 37 euros and 50 cents greater than 24 years valid 10 years 59 euros passports issued from the 1st of November 2007 on include fingerprints Greece available since the 26th of August 2006 84 euros and 40 cents valid for 5 years Since June 2009 passports contain fingerprints Hungary available since the 29th of August 2006 7500 Hungarian forints 26 euros valid for 5 years 14000 Hungarian forints 48 euros and 50 cents valid for 10 years As of the 29th of June 2009 all newly issued passports contain fingerprints Ireland biometric passport booklets have been available since the 16th of October 2006 and biometric passport cards since October 2015 32 page passport booklets are priced at 80 euros 66 page booklets at 110 euros both valid for 10 years for children aged between 3 and 18 years the price is €26.50 and, and the passport booklets are valid for 5 years. Infants' passport booklets for those under 3 years cost €16 and expire 3 years after issue. Irish biometric passport cards are only available to adults of 18 years and over who already have an Irish passport booklet and cost €35. They expire on the same date as the holder's Irish passport booklet or five years after issue, whichever is the shorter period. Ireland is not a signatory to the Schengen Acquis and has no obligation or plans to implement fingerprint biometrics. Italy available since the 26th of October 2006, 116 euros, valid for 10 years. As of January 2010 newly issued passports contain fingerprints. 
Latvia available since the 20th of November 2007 an adult passport costs ELS 15 21 euros and 36 cents prior to 16 July 2012 valid for 10 or 5 years Lithuania available since the 28th of August 2006 150 Lithuanian litis 43 euros for children up to 16 years old, valid max 5 years. For persons over 16 years old, valid for 10 years. Luxembourg available since the 28th of August 2006, 30 euros. Valid for 5 years. As of the 29th of June 2009, all newly issued passports contain fingerprints. Malta available since the 8th of October 2008 70 euros for persons over 16 years old valid for 10 years 35 euros for children between 10 to 16 years valid for 5 years and 14 euros for children under 10 years valid for 2 years Netherlands available since the 28th of August 2006 approximately 11 euros on top of regular passport 38 euros and 33 cents cost 49 euros and 33 cents passports issued from the 21st of September 2009 include fingerprints Dutch identity cards are look like versions of the holders page of the passport but don't contain fingerprints Poland available since the 28th of August 2006 140 Polish zlotys 35 euros for adults 70 Polish zlotys for children aged under 13 free for seniors 70 plus years valid 10 years 5 years for children aged below 13 Passports issued from the 29th of June 2009 include fingerprints of both index fingers Portugal available since the 31st of July 2006 special passport the 28th of August 2006 ordinary passport 65 euros for all citizens valid for 5 years all passports have 32 pages Romania available since the 31st of December 2008 258 ron for citizens over the age of 12 234 ron for citizens under the age of 12 valid for 10 years for those over the age of 18 5 years for those over the age of 12 to 18 and for 3 years for those under 12 as of the 19th of January 2010, new passport includes both facial images and fingerprints. Temporary passports valid for only 1 year can be issued for the price of 96 ron and is issued in less than 3 working days. Slovakia available since the 15th of January 2008 an adult passport greater than 13 years costs 33 euros and 19 cents valid for 10 years while a chip free child's 5 to 13 years version costs 13 euros and 27 cents valid for 5 years and for children under 5 years 8 euros and 29 cents but valid only for 2 years Slovenia available since the 28th of August 2006 42 euros and 5 cents for adults valid for 10 years 35 euros and 25 cents for children from 3 to 18 years of age valid for 5 years 31 euros and 17 cents for children up to 3 years of age valid for 3 years all passports have 32 pages. A 48-page version is available at a 2 euros and 50 cents surcharge. As of the 29th of June 2009, all newly issued passports contain fingerprints. Spain available since the 28th of August 2006 at a price of 26 euros. Price at 2018, free passports are issued for citizens that hold a Familia numerosa document. They include fingerprints of both index fingers as of October 2009. Aged 30 or less, a Spanish passport is valid for five years, otherwise, they remain valid for 10 years. 
Sweden available since October 2005, 350 Swedish kronor valid for five years. As of 1 January 2012, new passport includes both facial images and fingerprints. United Kingdom introduced March 2006, 72 pounds and 50 pence for adults valid for 10 years and 46 pounds for children under the age of 16 valid for 5 years, not signatory to Schengen Acquis, no obligation to fingerprint biometrics unless otherwise noted. None of the issued biometric passports mentioned above include fingerprints as of the 5th of May 2010. Albania The Albanian biometric passport has been available since May 2009, costs 6,000 leke and is valid for 10 years. The microchip contains 10 fingerprints, the bearer's photo and all the data written on the passport. Algeria Algerian biometric passports were introduced on 5 January 2012 with a validity of 10 years for adults, and 5 years for minors. Argentina On 15 June 2012, the government announced the availability of a new biometric passport at a cost of 1.500.00 pesos, valid for 10 years. Armenia In July 2012 Armenia introduced two new identity documents to replace ordinary passports of Armenian citizens. One of the documents, ID card with electronic signature and other personal data, is used locally within the country, and the biometric passport with an electronic chip is used for traveling abroad. Electronic chip of biometric passport contains digital images of fingerprints, photo and electronic signature of the passport holder. The passport will be valid for 10 years. Australia Biometric Australian passports were introduced in October 2005. A microchip contains the same personal information that is on the color photo page of the ePassport, including a digitized photograph. Smartgates have been installed in Australian airports to allow Australian ePassport holders and ePassport holders of several other countries to clear immigration controls more rapidly, and facial recognition technology has been installed at immigration gates. As of 1 January 2019, an ordinary Australian passport costs $293. <inaudible> Azerbaijan Biometric Azerbaijan passports were introduced in September 2013. Biometric passports include information about the passport holder's facial features, as well as finger and palm prints. Each passport will also include a personal identification number. The program covers the development of the appropriate legislative framework and information systems to ensure information security. Bangladesh In 2010, the government of Bangladesh announced a plan to replace over 6.6 .6 million traditional handwritten passports with new biometric machine-readable passports. In accordance with the guidelines of the International Civil Aviation Organization (ICAO), the Bangladeshi government started issuing machine-readable passports (MRP) and machine-readable visas (MRV) in April 2010. 
However, all traditional handwritten passports were honoured as bona fide travel documents issued by the government of Bangladesh until they expired. All traditional handwritten passports were successfully withdrawn from circulation before ICAO's international deadline of November 2015. As Bangladesh moved from traditional handwritten passports to machine readable passports, in 2016 the Government of Bangladesh announced plans to begin issuing e passports for all its citizens to ease immigration and increase visa free access worldwide for Bangladeshi passport holders. The new Bangladeshi e passport will be provided by a German company along with e gates at all ports of entry in Bangladesh by the end of December 2018. Topic: <laughs> Bosnia and Herzegovina. Available since the 15th of October 2009 and costing 50 km, 25 euros and 65 cents. Valid 10 years for adults and 5 years for younger than 18. Produced by Bundesdruckere. On the 1st of June 2010, Bosnia and Herzegovina issued its first EAC passport. Botswana Botswana began to issue biometric e-passports to its citizens on 8 March 2010. Brazil Brazil started issuing ICAO-compliant passports in December 2006. However just in December 2010 it began to issue passports with microchips, first in the capital Brasilia and Guia state. Since the end of January 2011 this last is available to be issued all over Brazil. It is valid for five years for adults and costs 156 reals and 7 centavos approximately 35 euros. In December 2014, the Federal Police Department extended the validity of the document, from 5 to 10 years. <inaudible> Brunei The Bruneian biometric passport was introduced on 17 February 2007. It was produced by German printer Gieseke and Devriant following the visa waiver program's requirements. The Brunian e passport has the same functions as the other biometric passports. Topic: <inaudible> Cambodia. Cambodia began to issue biometric passports to its citizens on the 17th of July 2014. The cost for a five-year passport, issued only to children aged five and under, is $80, while the 10-year passport, issued to all people older than five, costs $100. <laughs> <laughs> Canada All Canadian passports issued on or after 1 July 2013 have been e-passports containing an electronic chip encoded with the bearer's name, gender, and date and place of birth and a digital portrait of their face. Cape Verde Cape Verde started to issue biometric passports on 26 January 2016. The cost of a biometric passport is €50 Euros with a processing time of 30 days. It is noted that the scheme will gradually expand to Cape Verdean diplomatic missions in Boston and Lisbon in the future. Chile. Chile introduced new biometric passports and national ID cards on 2 September 2013. The newly designed passport booklet has a validity of five years. 
Topic: China. On 30 January 2011, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the People's Republic of China launched a trial issuance of e-passports for public affairs. The face, fingerprint and other biometric features of the passport holder will be digitalized and stored in pre-installed contactless smart chip in the passport. On 1 July 2011, the ministry began issuing biometric passports to all individuals conducting public affairs work overseas on behalf of the Chinese government. Ordinary biometric passports have been introduced by the Ministry of Public Security starting from 15 May 2012. The cost of a passport is 200 Chinese yuan, approximately $31 for first-time applicants in China and 220 Chinese yuan or $35 for renewals and passports issued abroad. Effective from July 1, 2017, cost of a biometric ordinary passport is reduced to 160 Chinese yuan, approximately US 24, for both first-time applicants and renewal. As of April 2017, China had issued over 100 million biometric ordinary passports. Topic: Colombia. The Colombian Foreign Ministry announced that, starting 1 September 2015, new biometric passports will be issued. The only visible change will be that ordinary Colombian passports will now carry the standard biometric symbol at the bottom of the front cover of the booklet. The cost of the passport is COP 163.000 approx. 56 United States dollars. Topic: Dominican Republic. In the Dominican Republic, biometric passports began to be issued in May 2004. However, the Dominican biometric passports do not carry the chip inside symbol. In January 2010, the cost of the passport was 1250 Dominican pesos, about 35 to 40 USD at that date. Topic: <inaudible> Egypt. The Egyptian government has from the 5th of February 2007 introduced the electronic passport e-passport and electronic document of identity for visa purposes e-doc.i which are compliant with the standard of the International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO Topic <inaudible> Finland Available since the 21st of August 2006. Topic <inaudible> Gabon. Available since the 23rd of January 2014. The Gabonese biometric passports carry the chip inside symbol. Topic. <inaudible> Georgia Available since 2010. The Georgian biometric passports carry the «chip inside» symbol. The passport is issued for the term of 10 years to adults, costing 100 lari if issued at TETH Business Day. The same day issuance will cost 205 lari. Price of the photo needs to be paid additionally. There are discounts, e.g. 50% discount for persons under age of 18. <laughs> Ghana Available since 1 March 2010 and costing GH 50.00 to 100.00 for adults and children. The passports contain several other technological characteristics other than biometric technology. 
However the Ghanaian biometric passports do not carry the ''chip inside'' symbol, which is mandatory for ICAO standard electronic passports. <laughs> Hong Kong In 2006, the Immigration Department announced that Unihub Limited, a PCCW subsidiary company heading a consortium of suppliers, including KeyCorp, had won the tender to provide the technology to produce biometric passports. In February 2007, the first biometric passport was introduced. The cover of the new biometric passport remains essentially the same as that of previous versions, with the addition of the ''Electronic Passport'' logo at the bottom. However, the design of the inner pages has changed substantially. The design conforms with the document design recommendations of the International Civil Aviation Organization. The new e-passport featured in the 2008 Stockholm Challenge event and was a finalist for the Stockholm Challenge Award in the Public Administration category. The Hong Kong SAR e-passport design was praised on account of the multiple state-of-the-art technologies which are seamlessly integrated in the sophisticated electronic passport system e-passport system. The cost for a HKSAR passport is $370 or $48 for a 32-page passport and $460 or $59 for a 48-page passport. Topic: Iceland Available since 23 May 2006 and costing 5,100 Icelandic kroner 1,900 Icelandic kroner for under 18 and over 67. <inaudible> India India has recently initiated first phase deployment of biometric e-passport for all passport holders in India and abroad. The new passports have been designed indigenously by the Central Passport Organisation, the India Security Press, Nashik and IIT Kanpur. The passport contains a security chip with personal data and digital images. Initially, the new passports will have a 64 KB chip with a photograph of passport holder and subsequently include the holder's fingerprints. The biometric passport has been tested with passport readers abroad and is noted to have a 4-second response time, less than that of a U.S. passport 10 seconds. The passport need not be carried in a metal jacket for security reasons as it first needs to be passed through a reader, after which generates access keys to unlock the chip data for reader access. India has also given out a contract to Tata Consultancy Services for issuing e passports through Passport Siva Kendra. India plans to open 77 such centres across the country to issue these passports. On 25 June 2008 Indian Passport Authority issued first e-passport to the then President of India, Pratava Patil. The e-passport is under the first phase of deployment and will be initially restricted to diplomatic passport holders. It is available to ordinary citizens from 2017 onwards. Indonesia Indonesia started issuing e-passports on 26 January 2011. The passport costs Rp 655,000 for the 48-page valid for five years, and Rp 405,000 for the 24-page passport valid for five years. Iran Iran started issuing biometric diplomatic and service passports in July 2007. 
Ordinary biometric passports began to be issued on 20 February 2011. The cost of a new passport was approximately $37 Iranian rials. Iraq Starting February 1, 2010 the Iraqi Ministry of Interior introduced new electronic system to issue the new A-Series biometric passports in contract with the German Safe ID Solutions. The new series is a machine-readable biometric passport available to the public which cost 25,000 dinars or about US$20. Ireland On October 16, 2006, the Minister of Foreign Affairs presented the first biometric passports. Israel Since July 2013, the Israeli Ministry of the Interior has been issuing biometric passports for those citizens who wish to receive them. For a two-year pilot period under the biometric database law, this was optional. As of August 2013, any passport expiring in more than two years can be replaced with a biometric one upon request, free of charge. Passports expiring within two years will be charged the full fee. The program review that was supposed to be concluded in 2015 was postponed by order of the Minister of the Interior to a later date, due to the controversy regarding the creation of the biometric database rather than storing the biometric data only within the passport's chip, as is the practice in many other countries. Since 2015, the pilot period has been extended until 2017. In May 2017, the pilot period ended. Newly issued passports are required to be biometric. To obtain a biometric passport, an applicant must appear in an Interior Ministry office to be photographed by the special camera which records information such as facial bone structure, distance between one's eyes, ears to eyes, and ratio of facial features one from another. One will also be fingerprinted and all this information will be contained in the new high-tech electronic passport. <inaudible> <inaudible> Japan The Japanese government started issuing biometric passports in March 2006. With this, Japan has met requirements under the U.S. Visa Waiver Program which calls for countries to roll out their biometric passports before 26 October 2006. Kazakhstan <inaudible> 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 Kazakhstan has presented its concept at implementing biometric passport in 2009. Kenya On 1 September 2017 the Directorate of Immigration and Registration of Persons under Ministry of Interior and National Coordination announced Kenya would start the role of the newly launched electronic passport. The new generation e-passport would contain a microprocessor chip that would contain biometrics such as fingerprints, facials and signature including other vital information, which is all ICAO compliant. The launch was highly anticipated as the launch was previously scheduled to be on April 2017. Applications are to be done online. Currently, you will most likely have to travel back to Kenya for the capture of the biometric data and the passport manufacture. Kenya plans to invalidate old style passports on 31 August 2020. Kosovo 
In May 2011, the Ministry of Interior of the Republic of Kosovo announced that biometric passports would be issued in the summer of 2011 after the winning firm is chosen and awarded the production of the passports. The first biometric passports were issued in October 2011. Topic: <laughs> Kuwait In March 2017, the Ministry of Interior of the State of Kuwait began issuing biometric passports. The Interior Ministry announced that by late 2018 older non-biometric passports will no longer be valid for use. Lao <laughs> <laughs> In September 2016, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Laos has announced that the biometric passports will roll out after the 30th of June 2016. Topic: <inaudible> Lebanon. The Lebanese Directorate General of General Security, La Générale, started issuing biometric passports as of August 1, 2016. All new Lebanese passports, Passport de la République Libanaise, issued are biometric passports and machine-readable container contactless smart RFID chip embedded inside the bottom of the front cover under the word PASSEPORT. The French state-run printing firm, Imprimerie Nationale, carries on the official printing works of both the Lebanese and French governments. Lesotho Date of introduction is uncertain. However, the enabling statute was tabled in November 2016. Topic: Macau. Applications for electronic passports and electronic travel permits have been started and processed since the 1st of September 2009. Topic: Macedonia. Available since the 2nd of April 2007 and costs 1,500 Macedonian dinars or c. 22 euros. Topic: <inaudible> Madagascar. The passport is available since 2014 and costs 110,000 arriere. Since September 2014, it is mandatory for Malagasy citizens to depart the country with a biometric passport. <laughs> Malaysia Malaysia was the first country in the world to issue biometric passports in 1998, after a local company, Iris Corporation, developed the technology. Malaysia is however not a member of the Visa Waiver Program VWP and its first biometric passport did not conform to the same standards as the VWP biometric document because the Malaysian biometric passport was issued several years ahead of the VWP requirement. The difference lies in the storage of fingerprint template instead of fingerprint image in the chip. The rest of the technologies are the same. Also the biometric passport was designed to be read only if the receiving country has the authorization from the Malaysian Immigration Department. Malaysia started issuing ICAO compliant passports from February 2010. Malaysia used to issue passports with validity for two years and five years, but the passport with two years validity was withdrawn since January 2015. The pricing for a Malaysian passport a room 200, approximately 50 United States dollars, with five years validity, RM 100, approximately 25 United States dollars for. 
senior citizens, children below 12, Hajj pilgrims, and students below 21 and studying abroad is RM100 and is free for disabled citizens. Maldives Maldives started rolling out its new e-passport to its citizens on 26 July 2006. The new passport follows a completely new design, and features the passport holder's facial and fingerprint information as biometric identifiers. A 32-page ordinary passport will cost RF 350, while a 64-page ordinary passport will cost RF 600. Children under the age of 10 years and people applying for passports through diplomatic missions abroad will be issued with a 32-page non-electronic ordinary passport, which will cost RF 250. Sovereign Military Order of Malta Since 2005 the SMOM diplomatic and service passports include biometric features and are compliant with ICAO standards. Moldova The Moldovan biometric passport is available from 1 January 2008. The new Moldovan biometric passport costs approximately 760 Moldovan leus and is obligatory from 1 January 2011. The passport of the Republic of Moldova with biometric data contains a chip which holds digital information, including the holder's signature, as well as the traditional information. It is valid for seven years for persons over seven and four years for persons less than seven respectively. It was introduced as a request of European Union to safeguard the borders between the EU and Republic of Moldova. Montenegro The Montenegrin biometric passport was introduced in 2008. It costs approximately €40. Euros. <inaudible> Mongolia The Mongolian Ministry of Interior stated that first biometric passport will be issue at the end of 2016. Topic: <inaudible> Mauritania. The issuance of the biometric passports was launched the 6th of May 2011. It costs 115.68 US dollar for issuance and is valid for 5 years only. Topic: <inaudible> Morocco. The Moroccan biometric passport was introduced in 2008. In December 2009, early limited trials have been extended, and the biometric passport is available from 25 September 2009 to all Moroccan citizens holders of an electronic identity card. It costs 300dh approximately €27. Mozambique. <inaudible> <inaudible> Mozambique started to issue biometric passports in September 2014. The issuance of such passports was suspended 40 days later but was resumed in February 2015. Namibia <inaudible> 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 Namibia began to issue biometric passports to its citizens on 8 January 2018. <laughs> New Zealand 
Introduced in November 2005, like Australia and the US, New Zealand is using the facial biometric identifier. There are two identifying factors, the small symbol on the front cover indicating that an electronic chip has been embedded in the passport, and the polycarbonate leaf in the front version 2009 of the book inside which the chip is located. Like Australia, New Zealand has installed smart gates into airports to allow New Zealand Airpassport and Airpassport holders of four other countries Australia, Canada, UK, and US to clear immigration controls more rapidly, and facial recognition technology has been installed at immigration gates. The cost is $140 when applying in person or $124.50 when applying online available only if already holding a passport for adults, $81.70 for children, which were valid for five years if issued before December 2015. However, in 2015 the New Zealand government approved for the reinstatement of a 10-year validity period for passports, with all passports issued after December 2015 being valid for 10 years. Nigeria Nigeria is currently one of the few nations in Africa that issues biometric passports, and has done it since 2007. The harmonized ECOWAS Smart Electronic Passport issued by the Nigerian Immigration Service is powered by biometric technology in tandem with the International Civil Aviation Organization specifications for international travels. Travelers' data captured in the biometric passport can be accessed instantly and read by any security agent from any spot of the globe through an integrated network of systems configured and linked to a centrally coordinated passport data bank managed by the Nigerian Immigration Service. Norway. The introduction of biometric passports to Norway began in 2005 and supplied by CETEC, costing 450 Norwegian krona for adults, or c. 50 euros, 270 Norwegian krona for children. In 2007 the Norwegian government launched a multimodal biometric enrollment system supplied by Motorola. Motorola's new system enabled multiple public agencies to digitally capture and store fingerprints, 2D facial images, and signatures for passports and visas. The Norwegian biometrics company IDEX ASA has begun development of electronic ID cards with fingerprint security technology for use throughout the EU. Oman Oman has started issuing biometric passports and replacing older passports, since the end of 2014. Pakistan In 2004, Pakistan became one of the first countries in the world to issue the biometric passports, which are compliant with ICAO standards and dubbed multi-biometric e-passports, however they do not carry the ''chip inside'' symbol, which is mandatory for ICAO standard electronic passports. As of 2012, Pakistan has adopted the multi-biometric e-passport that is now compliant with ICAO standards. In May 2016, Pakistan Interior Minister launched the project officially and promised that e-passports would be available fully in 2017 for citizens. Panama. Panama has issued biometric passports since 2014
The cost of the passport went up from $50 to $100, and the inside contains images of recent government projects. Peru On 21 February 2016, the Superintendencia Nacional de Migraciones announced that the first Peruvian biometric passports would be delivered by 26 February 2016. The first passport was issued for Peruvian opera singer Juan Diego Flore. It will feature a new cover, along with several security improvements, in order to be exempted for visas for the Schengen area. It will cost PEN 98.50, approximately US$28, making it the cheapest passport in Latin America. Philippines <inaudible> 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 On the 11th of August 2009, the first biometric passport was issued to then President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. The new e-passport has various security features, including a hidden encoded image, an ultra-thin holographic laminate, and a tamper-proof electronic microchip and is priced at around 950 pesos. Qatar On 20 April 2008, Qatar started issuing biometric passports which are ICAO compliant. A Qatari passport costs QR200. Russia Russian biometric passports were introduced in 2006. Since August 3, 2018, they cost 5,000 rubles approximately $80 and use printed data, photo and fingerprints and are BAC encrypted. Biometric passports issued after 1 March 2010 are valid for 10 years. Russian biometric passports are currently issued within Russia and in all of its consulates. From 1 January 2015, the Government of Russia has issued passports which contain fingerprints. St. Vincent and the Grenadines St. Vincent and the Grenadines has issued biometric passports as of March 4, 2014. <inaudible> <inaudible> Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia doesn't issue biometric passports as of March 26, 2018. Serbia Available since 7 July 2008, and cost 3.600 Serbian dinars or approximately €32, Euros, aged 3 or less a Serbian passport is valid for 3 years, aged 3 to 14 it is valid for 5 years, otherwise passport remain valid for 10 years. topic Singapore The Immigration and Checkpoints Authority ICA of Singapore introduced the Singapore Biometric Passport Biopass on the 15th of August 2006 with this, Singapore has met requirements under the U.S. Visa Waiver Program which calls for countries to roll out their biometric passports before 26 October 2006. The pricing for a Singaporean passport are, 70 Singapore dollars if applied via online, mail or ECA deposit box and 80 Singapore dollars if applied via Singapore Overseas Mission and Singaporean passports are valid for five years. Somalia The new e-passport 
of Somalia was introduced and approved by the nation's transitional federal government on 10 October 2006. It costs $100 to apply for Somalis living inside of Somalia, and $150 for Somalis living abroad. Somalia is now the first country on the African continent to have introduced the e passport. South Korea The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade of South Korea started issuing biometric passports to its citizens on 25 August 2008. The cost is fixed to 55,000 won or 55 US dollars, and the validity of ordinary passport is 5 years and 10 years. South Sudan South Sudan started issuing electronic passports on 3 January 2012. The new passport are valid for five years. Slovakia Biometric passports were first issued in Slovakia in 2008. The latest version was issued in 2014 and contains a contactless chip in the biodata card that meets ICAO specifications. <laughs> Sri Lanka From 10 August 2015, the Department of Immigration and Emigration Sri Lanka has begun issuing ICAO-compliant biometric passports to the public. As at October 2016, all new passports require both thumbs to be scanned and a digital facial mapping photograph be taken during the issuing process. Sudan The Republic of the Sudan started issuing electronic passports to citizens in May 2009. The new electronic passport will be issued in three categories. The citizen's passport, ordinary passport will be issued to ordinary citizens and will contain 48 pages. Businessmen, women who need to travel often will have a commercial passport that will contain 64 pages. Smaller passports that contain 32 pages only will be issued to children. The microprocessor chip will contain the holder's information. Cost to obtain a new passport will be 250 Sudanese pounds, approximately 100 United States dollars, 200 Sudanese pounds for students and 100 Sudanese pounds for kids. The validity of the citizen's passport will be 5 years or 7 years for the commercial passport. Topic: Switzerland The Swiss biometric passport has been available since 4 September 2006. By a narrow majority of 50.14%, Swiss voters decided in May 2009 to accept the introduction of a biometric passport. Since 1 March 2010, all issued passports are biometric, containing a photograph and two fingerprints recorded electronically. The costs are 140 Swiss francs for adults and 60 Swiss francs for children minus 18 years old. Topic: <inaudible> Taiwan. The Taiwanese biometric passport has been available since the 29th of December 2008. It costs $1,600 for an ordinary passport with either 3, 5 or 10 years validity. Taiwanese Central Engraving and Printing Plant prints passports for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Taiwan for several decades. During this period, the passport has been redesigned various times. 
The current e-passport or known as biometric passport is fitted with RFID technology that facilitates Taiwanese passport immigration clearances worldwide. Topic: <laughs> Tajikistan Biometric passports will be issued in Tajikistan from 1 February 2010. On 27 August 2009, Tajik Ministry of Foreign Affairs and German Mühlbauer signed a contract on purchase of blank biometric passports and appropriate equipment for Tajikistan. Thailand. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Thailand introduced the first biometric passport for diplomats and government officials on 26 May 2005. From 1 June 2005, a limited quantity of 100 passports a day was issued for Thai citizens, however, on 1 August 2005 a full operational service was installed and Thailand became the first country in Asia to issue an ICAO-compliant biometric passport. Togo. In August 2009, Togo became one of the first African countries to introduce biometric passports. The price of the passport was then set at 30,000 CFA francs for Togolese residing in Togo. For Togolese residing abroad, the price varies. Tunisia. The Tunisia Ministry of Interior stated that it will start issuing biometric passports at the end of year 2016 which did not happen. Turkey Turkish passports which are compatible with European Union standards have been available since 1 June 2010. Colors of the new biometric passports have also been changed. Accordingly, regular passports, claret red, special passports, bottle green and diplomatic passports wrap black colors. Most recently, Turkish Minister of the State announced that the government is printing the new passports at government minting office since the private contractor failed to deliver. As of June 2018, cost of issuing a 10-year passport in Turkey is 764, approximately $160. Topic: <inaudible> Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan became the first country in ex-USSR, in mid-Asia region to issue an ICAO-compliant biometric passport. The passport is available since 10 July 2008. <laughs> Ukraine According to law, Ukraine was supposed to issue biometric passports and identity cards on 1 January 2013. However, they did not become available until two years later in January 2015 and are fully compatible with European Union standards. <laughs> United Arab Emirates The United Arab Emirates Ministry of Interior began to issue biometric passports on the 11th of December 2011, making it the second GCC state to launch biometric passports after Qatar. Topic: <laughs> United States The biometric version of the U.S. passport sometimes referred to as an electronic passport has descriptive data and a digitized passport photo on its contactless chips, and does not have fingerprint information placed onto the contactless chip. 
However, the chip is large enough 64 kilobytes for inclusion of biometric identifiers. The U.S. Department of State first issued these passports in 2006, and since August 2007 issues biometric passports only. Non-biometric passports are valid until their expiration dates, although a system able to perform a facial recognition match between the bearer and his or her image stored on the contactless chip is desired. It is unclear when such a system will be deployed by the US Department of Homeland Security at its ports of entry. A high level of security became a priority for the United States after the attacks of the 11th of September 2001. High security required cracking down on counterfeit passports. In October 2004, the production stages of this high-tech passport commenced as the U.S. Government Printing Office issued awards to the top bidders of the program. The awards totaled to roughly $1 million for startup, development, and testing. The driving force of the initiative is the U.S. Enhanced Border Security and Visa Entry Reform Act of 2002 also known as the «Border Security Act», which states that such smart card identity cards will be able to replace visas. As for foreigners traveling to the U.S., if they wish to enter U.S. visa free under the Visa Waiver Program (VWP), they are now required to possess machine-readable passports that comply with international standards. Additionally, for travelers holding a valid passport issued on or after the 26th of October 2006, such a passport must be a biometric passport if used to enter the US visa free under the VWP. In November 2018, Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport and Delta Airlines have opened the nation's first curb-to-gate biometric terminal, which promises to improve aviation security while moving travelers faster through screening. Uruguay <inaudible> 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 The Uruguayan Ministry of the Interior started to issue biometric passports to Uruguayan citizens on 16 October 2015. The new passport complies with the standards set forth by the Visa Waiver Program of the United States. Uzbekistan <inaudible> 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 In Uzbekistan, the 23rd of June 2009, Islam Karimov issued a presidential decree on measures to further improve the passport system in the Republic of Uzbekistan. On the 29th of December 2009, the president of Uzbekistan signed a decree to change the dates for a phased exchange of population's existing passport to the biometric passport. In accordance with this decree, biometric passports will be phased in, beginning with 1 January 2011. In the first phase, the biometric passport will be issued to employees of ministries, departments and agencies of the Republic, individuals who travel abroad or outside the country, as well as citizens who receive a passport in connection with the achievement of a certain age or for other grounds provided by law. The second phase will be for the rest of the population who will be able to get new passports for the period from 2012 to 2015. Topic: <inaudible> Venezuela. Issued after July 2007, Venezuela was the first Latin American country issuing passports including RFID chips along other major security improvements. The chip has photo and fingerprints data. <laughs> Zimbabwe Introduced in June 2017 See also 
International Civil Aviation Organization Public Key Directory.